This is Good Morning Kansas with Annette Lawless and your cake first alert forecast with meteorologist Blake Smith. Cake news on your side. Hey, welcome back to Good Morning Kansas. We've seen them tracking storms for Good Morning America and certainly here on the weekend show just a minute ago, really. We have ABC's Rob Marciano, senior, senior meteorologist. So senior, glad to, like to say. Senior. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's good to have you here. So good to be with you guys. Hey, yeah. Blake, how's it going? It's going good. Yeah. Uh, so, so hold on. <laughs> it's just one of those things that when Rob is in your town, it's usually not a good thing, right? right. You don't go say, hey, it's going to be a beautiful day and sunny. Well, right? honestly, when they asked, you know, where where should we go next? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I love Wichita. So we were looking for any excuse to come here. And the river, as you guys know, is, is high. So that was uh, a great backdrop to have. And then and you guys got crushed with some storms last night. So, yeah, I'm sorry if I brought that with you, with uh. me. Uh, but when they go and decide, when you all decide whatever, how do you come to that point, like to being like, okay, we're going to go here? Because there, I mean, there was so much weather that we've experienced this past week. Well, we oh started gosh. in uh, Dallas uh, over a week ago. Yeah. And we knew the setup was going to be one that would be here for more than a few days. So yeah. I said, let's let's go in there and, and you know, I'll stay as long as, you, as we need to. And sure, day after day, it, it, there was there was action and there was there was damage. And we just came from Jefferson City, which mm. got crushed with that EF3. Uh, and now uh, we're into the weekend we're with a severe weather setup, so it felt like a good excuse to come to Wichita and, and to say hi to you guys. Yeah, and we, we love having you here. Yeah, yeah. this is kind of like the Thanks, hidden man. gem of the Midwest, I feel like. And I didn't realize my Red Sox were going to be on camera, but we'll go with it. Uh, uh, you look yeah. good. You it's all this? good. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> just real quick, Rob, talk about a typical week for Rob Marciano. I feel like you're everywhere. Uh, well, Don't you feel that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> you know, everybody, my, my, the crew and, and every other correspondent feels the same way. You're on this hamster wheel of... A good morning, America. Do stuff for digital, and and then the evening news. Once you're on a story, you're filing for for all those shows. So yeah. we're working on a little little sleep, but it comes in waves. I mean, now it's busy. Uh, when come July, it'll it'll be less busy, and and sure. and I won't be working even a full week uh, in some in some cases. So it's the news business, it's the weather business. You guys know how yeah. it is. It's not when I, you know when you work in local, and I did uh, my fair share of that. Uh, you're up super early, even yes. earlier than we are, and uh, it, it's tough, and it's a grind for, for you guys. So we do more traveling. We go to where it, the, the action is, we're, we're, where the big story is nationally. So we're charged with that, and we like to shine a spotlight on the places that, uh, in some cases, feel, feel they're ignored, and, and hidden gems like Wichita. Yeah. This, this town, I love this town. Mm. And I've been here about 10 years ago, I guess. It's been that long. Okay. And uh, it's, it's changed so much much i mean you guys have so much stuff going on now it's so hip we got that new baseball stadium uh, coming on board and yeah. i'm psyched for you guys it's a great place to live yeah uh and unfortunately he kind of saw the bad into things because you weren't like trying to get a hotel your crew yeah and everything's so booked up me. this week i know so uh, well, that's how popular <laughs> we wichita a, is we get a message well. they're like all the hotels are booked up because of course we have our state championships and everything going on this weekend and yeah. everyone's just here hanging, we, we so. almost slept in jay prater's basement I believe yeah. it. Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. It. But it's probably <laughs> flooded too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he actually is a friend of Jay Prater's. Yeah. Yeah, we've he known each other a long time, and yeah. um, and Blake, of course, we've met. Yeah. So it's uh, we're we're big uh, fans of uh, of cake. Will you get any relief soon? Are you guys going to something? We are going to go chase uh, tornadoes in the Panhandle today and tomorrow. Okay. And we'll do JMA from from out there. Hopefully, no towns or, or homes get hit. And yeah. uh, you know, if we get a tornado on camera, that's. An added bonus, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, one thing that I think about when we see these storms is as bad as they are, we see a lot of good with them too. People come together to help oh, each man. other out, and you know, it's just it's incredible to to be a part of that when we can. Just especially this part of the world. I mean, uh, the folks in, in Jefferson City, I'm just amazed every time uh, something a tornado hits or a hurricane hits, how people come together, how the community comes together, especially in, in Kansas and Oklahoma. I mean, you guys pick up your bootstraps. And there's no messing around. You know, if a tornado hits your home. You know, there's there's very little crying. You you get the tractors out, and, and your friends come over, and the pickups, and you you start picking up stuff, and, and you start over. Mm -hmm. And it just amazes me the, the fortitude of the folks who live in this part of the country. Yeah, and severe weather is a way of life here in the Midwest. Yeah, yeah. Sure. pretty hardy folk when it sure. comes to severe weather. Like we talk about the tornado threat today, and we've talked about it for the past two weeks. It's not like people blink an eye. You know, we know it's. A possibility here in the Midwest. Uh, so you're headed southwest today. Mm -hmm. Before you leave town, though, where are you headed? You going to any good diners? Uh, well, in we town? yeah, we we okay. uh, Riverside Cafe. We just yeah. came That's from the awesome. Riverside Cafe. Yeah. Love that place. Oh, we go there all the time. What'd you get? Anything we got. Good? We all it's got all the same. Well, actually, Dan got something else, but. Uh, <laughs> I got the uh, chicken fried steak and eggs and a uh, side of bay. Oh my God, it was Their so good. Their salsa there is the yes, best. Yes, the homemade the salsa. salsa. Yeah. Such a sweet so staff, good. and thankfully they had cake on. 
That's right. So, of course uh, they do. They know yeah. us. They yeah. know Absolutely. Us. No, they know about us. Yeah. I wish we could stay longer, uh, yeah. uh, but uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be running out after we chat That's with okay. you guys. We'll, we'll go calls. fuel but up. You, but you know what? Before you leave, we actually have some <laughs> questions to ask. And, <laughs> and whether you fun. get all five of them correct or none of them correct, uh, we're still going to give you a cake mug. Okay. That's, yeah, all that that's matters. right. I stole it out of the boss's office this morning, so he doesn't know. All right. Okay. So <laughs> if I get fired, I'll just say I know Rob Marciano. It oh, was so great knowing yeah. you. Yeah. Me yeah. too. We'll so make room go. for you in New York. Okay, yeah. So, hey, here's our first question all for right. you. I don't okay. know if we're going to take it full screen. There we go. What is the biggest city in Kansas? Oh, boy. Um, Five seconds, Rob. I mean, it's got to be Wichita. It is Wichita. Okay, yeah. I thought it was a trick question. You guys Yay. really, you know? <laughs> Wichita has a population of what? 390,000 as of what a couple of years ago. So wow, that's 10 so. times as many people as Jefferson City, Missouri, the capital of Missouri. Wow, huh? that's crazy. Oh, wow. You guys are crushing it. Yes, yeah, yeah we're crushing <laughs> it here in Wichita. Uh, you have my Kinsley question. question. The next one. All right, so here's this the next one. It was a last-minute coordination here. It was. So. Yeah, we just did this about 20 <laughs> minutes ago, Rob. Uh, second question, full screen. Let's go ahead and take it. So the city of Kinsley, which is in southwest Kansas, you mm -hmm. might actually pass I'm through it. That I am is uh, located between two major U.S. cities. Like, they have a halfway sign in Kinsley to designate this. What They're are those so two proud. cities? Do you know? uh, halfway I mean, in between what I two mean, cities? New York and L.A. Close. Okay. We'll give you half credit. Philly, Philly and We'll uh, chip off a little bit of the mug. That was a good answer. So the New York handle. and San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah, yep. and that's the sign. So this is from the Kansas Historical Society. I look at that vintage sign. Huh, really this, cool. This picture was not taken yesterday. Not yesterday. Have you guys, no. has, have you verified that math, Blake? Have you been out there to, to do the math? I have. Yep, I used to take oh, measure for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Use his car. Use the mile tracker on it. Uh, You're so good, Blake. You're so good. What else you got? Okay. I'm ready now. I'm warmed up. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, let's see. The first woman granted a pilot license is from Kansas. She's also the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic. You gotta is know she? This. If you don't know this, yes. I'm ashamed. The Miss Amelia Earhart. Very good. Yes. Yes. Very good. Nice. Amelia Earhart right there. In fact, there was a meteorologist from, is it she a weather lady from ever in Denver or something? I think something like that. There's a weather gal with the same name. Her um, name's Amelia Earhart. Her name Earhart? is also Amelia Earhart. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh. Well, fun fact weather too. person. Weather person. Yes. I just want to make sure. Or, or I mean, you know, I don't want to. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm embarrassed. By the way, at the, at the Riverside Cafe, there was there was a hungry man breakfast yeah. and a hungry woman breakfast. You know. And I, I there's no way I was going to finish the hungry man breakfast, but if I order the hungry woman breakfast, one I I, I was you be still I, I'd be offended. It. I think you'd just be offended by the menu, but I, I feel <laughs> emasculated if I didn't finish that either. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> next question. Let's go ahead and take that. So we are asking. Kansas is known for one of these. Does it have the largest state capitol building? Does it have the world's largest ball of twine? Or is it home to the smallest dog in the world? Um, can I call a friend? Yeah. Dan Manzo, what do you think? You love Kansas. I'm going to go with the world's largest ball of twine. Uh, that is true. Yes. Yeah, there, there you it go. is right There's there. a picture of it right Up there. Up in uh, Cocker City in yeah. north central Kansas. See. And Jay Prater has been there also. <laughs> yep. He's a man of all, all Dan, all Dan Manzo, by the way, is a, a weather producer, meteorologist as well. And uh, we took mm -hmm. him out into the field to, to get his feet wet and, and to field producing. And he loves uh, driving into Kansas yesterday. He says, I love this state. It's so beautiful. So he's, he's going to be kind of our tour guide the, the rest of the way. Awesome. Yeah. OK, final question. How do you say this? Name. In this state? <laughs> yes. I'm going to go with Arkansas. There you Good go. answer, yeah. Oh, there you go. Now, nationally, I'll say Arkansas. The appeal to the masses. But so now that you've been to Wichita from now on, you'll say Arkansas River. Yep. I will. Certainly when I'm in Kansas, I'm going to say Arkansas. <laughs> okay. Why, wise, wise man. Well, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks so Such much for having me, guys. Such a thrill to have you here. Yeah. yeah. It's been and a treat. You, you do get the cake mug, so here and we go. I hope you don't get in trouble, Blake. You know. Photo. No, I'm awesome. no, just kidding. There we go. Perfect. Rob Fantastic. Marciano, everybody. So glad to have you and here that, for Good Blake, Morning thanks Kansas. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You guys yeah. do a great it's job. It's from another great place uh, that sponsors the mug, Spears. There you go. Yes. Go get some pie. Oh, maybe get some pie on the way out. That's right. All right. We'll be right back with more right here on Good Morning Kansas. Cheers.